back in my art room. Today I'm going to do an 8 by 10 canvas. Um, it's called a bomb pour. So you have these little cups with the little center separate from the edge. So you fill two different colors. Um, today I'm going to put colors in the middle and white on the outside. And uh, we'll see what happens. I'm trying to use some Christmassy colors. So I've got gold, basics, and I've got uh, a nice green, permanent green middle by um, Windsor Newton. And I have some, uh, what else do I have here? Metallic copper, Americana decor. So I've mixed my paints. I just have to add some silicone. Okay, I'll face you down. Okay, I've got my colors mixed. My green, my copper, and my gold. So I'm going to drop some WD-40 in. And this is the WD-40 that I use. It says silicone right on it has to say silicone right on it. So I'm spraying this into a little cup. Give it a good shake. And then I take my little pipette or dropper and just add your drops to your paint. Now I believe these already have um, I'll add one more to that one. Silicone in it. <clears throat> I'm not going to stir it too much. All right. This is my little cup that I'm going to use. This is an 8 by 10 canvas. I'm going to put some white around the edges just to help the paint uh, run a little better. I think this cup, when I get it full, it will just be enough paint for this canvas. Alright, so let's go. Put some green in the bottom. Gold. Reverse this. I'll put the copper next to the green now. Or not the copper, the gold. And this is the copper. Whoops. Whoa, it's full. Okay, and my white is um, deco art white. There's no silicone in the white part.
I don't know if I showed you this uh, consistency. But it runs in and it makes a little mound, but not a big mound, and it sinks pretty quick. All right, some more white. This is Artist Loft White and Deco Art White mixed together. I'm going to come right up. I'm not going to fill a cup right up to the top, but I'm just going to go to the edge and I'm going to drizzle a little, little bit over top. There. Okay, let's get going here. Let's do it like a flip cup. Oops. I did level this. My sisters did one of these also. I think we're going to post them around the same time. But I had to redo mine because I didn't record my last one. It pushed the button and I don't know what happened. So I had to do another one. I think I'm just going to pull it straight up this time and see what happens. Wow. Let this run out of my cup. Just leave it sit there for a minute. <clears throat> down this way. I don't want to lose any paint off the edge. I need it. looks nice. Well, I like how the colors in the middle anyway. This 
edge down. There. Now I'm going to get my heat gun Okay. Not too much happening on this weight. Looks pretty. All right, that's it. I'm done. I don't think I'm going to get any more cells to come out. Not that I need any more, they're pretty tiny. Okay, that's it. That's my bomb pour. Looks pretty good, I think. All right, well, thanks for watching. I'll put the colors in the description below. Just hit the little arrow under the video. Um, if you like this video, hit the like hit the like button or the thumbs up. And uh, subscribe if you haven't already. And come back again. Hit the bell for notifications. When I do more, you'll get a a notification when the next one come comes out. All right, thanks for watching. Let me hold this up for you. Bye-bye. Hello, I'm here to look at my dried paintings. This is the um, bomb. It dried pretty good. Look at that shiny copper in there. Smooth. And this is another one that I did. Same colors, same process. This one, I put a little bit of white in the middle of the colors. And this one was just all colors in the middle of the cup and white around. This one was white around also, but I just put a little bit of white in the middle of the colors. And that's the difference how they come out. And I 
both dried nice. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.